Hi guys, this is a review of the Sunto Vector ABC watch. Now, uh, Sunto is a company from Finland, and they started out making compasses, uh, which they still make, but they also make what's called an ABC watch. Now, what an ABC watch is, is in addition to a watch, it also has an altimeter, a barometer, and a compass function on it. And this is their first ABC watch. It's called the Vector. Now, uh, the Vector was introduced, I believe, around maybe 11 years ago or so. And uh, it's a pretty decent ABC watch. It's... Uh, of course, it has the, the time functions, and it also has the altimeter, barometer, and compass functions. It also has a thermometer function. Um, it's a pretty big, big watch. It's about, I'm thinking about 52 millimeters in diameter. However, it is very light because it's a plastic construction, and it has uh, like the rubber type strap on it. So... You know, it's it's even though it's a huge size and it's and it's also quite thick, it's very comfortable to wear. Um, I find it to be one of the most comfortable watches I've worn, and uh, you just have to get used to the size a little bit and the thickness, so you don't like bump it on door jams and stuff like that. Um, the watch itself has four buttons. It has two on each side. And the button on the upper right is your mode button. And that's how you switch your modes. There's the altimeter, barometer, compass mode, and back to time. Now, uh, the button on here on the left-hand side is the select button. And that's what you use to shift into the various sub-modes in each of the uh, functions. Now, I'm not going to show you all these various sub-modes because there's a lot of them and you'd be bored by them. But uh, they do give you what they call a pocket guide. And this shows all your various sub-modes uh, as you switch through them. So if you need to uh, you know, remember what, what the sub-modes are, you can take a look at this. It also shows you the buttons and their functions. So this is a nice thing to have with you, especially when you first get the watch. If you need to remember, you know, how to switch into different modes and functions and things like that, you can keep it in your wallet or keep it with you. The actual instruction manual is this big-ass manual, but the reason it's so thick is because it's in several different languages. So don't be don't be scared off by this huge manual. It's not... It's not all in English, it's so the English version I think is about maybe 15 or 20 pages, so it's not that bad. Um, this is a good watch for everyday wear, even though it's huge. It still it has the you know the time in the large digits, the date down below, the the day up above. And also has right over here in the corner, which is a neat feature. This is uh, the trend. The barometric trend, you see this square right here with a line. This gives you the barometric trend over the last six hours. So if you see the barometer dropping like a stone for six hours, that kind of tells you that a storm is on the way. So, you know, if you're an outdoor person or you're camping or hiking or whatever, and you start seeing that, that barometer drop like a stone that's pretty good indication that a storm is coming it's just it's kind of nice to know when you're in those situations um, this watch of course is powered by a battery the battery life varies with this thing depending upon how much you use the compass and there's also a light if you push the mode button for two seconds which I won't do right now but you won't see it anyway in this bright light but this lights up the dial, but the big drain, I believe, is the compass. So, you know, don't don't play around with the compass if you don't have to or whatever, or don't let your kids play around with it because you're going to drain the battery down by doing that. Um, when you do need to replace the battery, there's a hatch on the back, and you just simply 
put a coin in there and you just open it up and there's also a gasket under there and then you just replace the battery and when you when you buy a battery kit they give you a new gasket and a new hatch to make sure that everything is sealed up good so you just stick your gas your battery in there your gasket and your hatch and turn it back down it's a little tricky you have to kind of squeeze the gasket in because it's it's a tight fit and you just tighten it back up again and then you got your battery replaced it's kind of nice that you can replace the battery yourself and that you don't have to take it in somewhere and batteries are available on amazon and if you have a local dealer you can pick up one there too um you may have seen this watch if you've watched the film's shooter or 127 hours this watch was featured in these two films and it's also featured in people characters in different TV shows and so forth wear it too um, overall I have to say that uh, I'm very happy with this watch I think it's it's very uh, nice for everyday wear and it has the additional features of being able to keep track of the weather and it has the compass so if you're like if you're a person that loves the outdoors and you like to keep track of your surroundings and and have a compass with you at all times and so forth this is an excellent watch for that purpose um, it's not real expensive it's going on Amazon right now for about $175 um, I forgot to point out um, possible disadvantages of it are the water resistance is given as 30 meters it's really not intended for use in the water so I would not you know use it for swimming or diving or anything like that because it's not it's not really intended for that um, the size may be a disadvantage to some but again it's very lightweight so once you get used to the size I don't think it would bother you um, so I have to rate it quite highly uh, for even for everyday use because I like the large digits I like to be able to keep track of the weather because where I live the weather can change quickly and in winter we can get storms and blizzards and stuff that I need I have to drive through to get home and so forth so I like to keep track of the weather and that kind of thing so um, oh, one other point if if you'd like to see this watch in person it's sold in sporting goods stores I don't know which chains are in your area but if there's a Dick's Sporting Goods uh, Gander Mountain may have it Places like that, they, these these you know large sporting goods stores generally carry this, and you may find it at uh, where I live. The local watch dealer in the mall that, that carries a lot of brands called the Watch Company. They carry this watch also, and they also have a website where you can order. That's that's where I got it off the Watch Company website. Um, overall, again, I rate it very highly I really like this watch this has basically become my daily wear watch now and uh, the only other thing is that the face <coughs> excuse me the face is not a sapphire crystal it's a plastic crystal and it can be scratched so you do want to be a little careful and you don't want to like bump it against you know hard objects and things that may scratch it so you may you may want to watch that a little bit but if you uh, you know need these functions, these altimeter, barometer, compass functions, you want these in a watch, you're an outdoor person or an athlete, a hiker, a climber, a biker, any of these things, this is watch would really work out good for you. And uh, I recommend that you check it out. Um, if you have any comments about the watch, please, please feel free to ask them. Uh, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching my review.